Hi, welcome back to Lesbians. Ha <laughs> ha, Yuri joke. But I'm bum. So, what, what did we do last time? Uh, we, uh, we read poems and we got gut checked. Yep. That was just a, just an average Wednesday. We finished hurting Sayori's feelings, got gut checked, read poems. Wait, how do we hurt Sayori's feelings? By giving her a good poem. No, that was episode before last. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We I thought started that was a crossover, with... but you're yeah, right. Yeah, no. No, no, no. <clears throat> we ended up taking longer than expected for the last one. Yuri! You also had an interesting Monica poem, or was that the one before that? Mm, which one? Her, uh... The, la the one that we just did was the feather one. Okay, yeah. What, what were you thinking? No, that was the one I was thinking. It the, was the, just, previous, it was the previous load me one? It's I mean, still I like... really difficult to get out of my... Why do you just put that <clears throat> in your poem? <laughs> what is... <sighs> yeah, now you're giving me that shit-eating grin, so that's there's a reason behind that, and I'm... I'm, I don't know it. Okay. Well done, Thick and Chunky. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? It sure has. I don't remember it. What was the advice? I don't Did know. Something about knives. Cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't you remember her little raccoon poem? Oh, right. No, that's not the advice that she gave. What's so, that just look, when all else fails, just one word. Knives. Done. <laughs> Everything can be solved with knives. Somebody's bothering you, point the knife at them. Give them the knife. You just, I'm just imagining. Only got one piece of bread left? Knife. Boom. Sandwich. Oh my god. You know what I'm imagining now? You know that meme with the uh, the cat? Or just, someone's, uh, just a hand is pointing the knife and it's give, the cat's giving that smug ass look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you point that shit at me. Uh, Do you know who I yeah. am? What? <laughs> it's the cat. Just imagine the cat doing, like, a soccer mom thing. Why? I know the governor. I don't know. Anyway. It, 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 I feel like that completely changes the mood. It goes from, like, sm quiet smugness to just rambunctious yelling. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel right. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. It's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Thick and Chunky? Huh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself? In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Huh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that <clears throat> I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I, oh, I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Now let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Oh, goodness. Okay, how long is... That's not too bad. Uh, remember what... You remember what Natsuki said? The, oh, right. They, they're they they're supposed to be similar. They both... Yeah, they both have the same single word theme. Beach. beach. Okay. <clears throat> All right, cool. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth kept... Chaotically. Chaotically. That looks like an S. Sort of. Looks like yeah. the way I write S. Chastically... <laughs> Chastically meets the surface. 
Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss. B beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore. Drift forward and I return to Earth forevermore. Well. Well. Okay. Tide goes in, tide goes out. You can't explain that. What? <laughs> it's a very, very uh, old reference to, uh, to the Do It Live guy. Trying to talk uh, to, like, uh, like, he had an atheist on his show and was, like, saying, Oh, you got all the answers, huh? Tide goes in, tide goes out. You can't explain that. Checkmate, flat earthers. <laughs> Pretty much. And he just gives him this look that has since become, like, a meme. Of, like, just this incredulous, like, face. Okay. Like, it's, it's Wait, hard who? to describe the face, but it, it ended up becoming well, one of those, like, meme macro faces, like well, who, the uh, Jackie Chan face and stuff. Well, who gave the face? Uh, I Bill can't remember the guy's... or the atheist guy? The atheist guy. He's got, like, a goatee on, and he's just got, like, this... Like, his eyes are squinted, his mouth is just hanging open. Like, he is, he wasn't going to just immediately destroy him with the, the whole gravitation of, uh, of the moon and whatnot? Oh, he did, but it was just, like... Well, like no, I mean, like, that face. Like, he wasn't going to do that. Like, he wasn't... Yeah. <laughs> it was just the shock of it. Like, like any any scientist listening to that, that Magnets How Do They Work song. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a more metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she did? She, she didn't say anything weird, did she? And she hit me in the gut. I was about to say, she uh, tagged me in the stomach with her elbow. I guess the uh, actions speak louder than words. My poem is the beach. Boom! <laughs> Life's a beach, sucker. <laughs> oh my god. She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Weird. Really Huh? She said it was Yuri's idea. Did she? Yes, she said, Yuri said we should come up with, write on the same topic again. She gave us a word, and I guess she thought we should just write about the same thing. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I picked up on that earlier. Mm -hmm. It's something I didn't notice. Maybe... Huh. Maybe it's a... Tr not a translation thing, but like, uh... Well? I was gonna say, like, maybe the... Not the dialogue, but like the the path branching thing. Maybe it didn't remember that we talked to Natsuki first, but no, she literally just brought up, mm. like our character brought up that Natsuki said it. Maybe they came up with the idea together, but because neither one of them want us to think negatively of them, they're blaming the thing that they think is the flaw in their poem on the other person. Maybe? <laughs> Alright. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. Burn. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I just went with her request. But... Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It could be refreshing, you know? Writing prompts can be a way of, like, drawing inspiration. Where someone just gives you a basic idea and says, go. Okay. Just, just throwing in my two cents. I'm not really a creative person, so it's really difficult me t for me to, like, really, like, relate to that. Did I ever discuss the one time I ever actually wrote anything ever? What was that? Uh, there was a magazine, uh, London Sci-Fi. They okay. had a contest. They gave you a simple writing prompt, a title, and a line of dialogue you had to include in your story so they knew you didn't just rename an old story. Okay. And I had 72 hours to write it. Then they surprised me more. I had to record myself reading it. Okay. And then upload it to them. Got an honorable mention. 
Okay, neat. Yeah, I'll send you a link to it sometime if you want to post it, the link to it here, but the only reason I was able to pull that story out of my ass was due to the writing prompt. And the weirdest part is, the plot line I came up with, years yep. later, that same plot line, and including a line word for word from my story, ended up in Nomad Sky. Total coincidence, not saying they stole anything from me, but I thought it was weird that I was going down this story path, thought, oh, wow, this is familiar, and then straight up a line of dialogue I wrote for the story showed up, and I just got eerie, uh, weirded out by it. Okay. Anyway. So let's say, is, is that is, is that all? Or yeah. Can we move on? Because I know we've, we, we take a long time on these reading the other poem things. True. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Well, thanks for sharing. Well, hi there. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Did she say something strange? Uh... Or does she not realize that Sayori left, or...? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Oh. C catch catchphrase Yeah, what catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. <laughs> Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh... Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh god. In your books, maybe. Did I hit a bad ending? No. Am I gonna get a bad ending? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh... It seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck does she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee! Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... So what did she say? Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing! That's right! Natsuki will be making cupcakes! But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And for m as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. As for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? She can, uh, she can be the barker. The person just stands out like, Step right up, step right up, come on in! Just spinning a sign, wearing like a, a suit. Yeah. Dressed like that pirate book from uh, the Page Master. I don't remember that. Played by Patrick Stewart. Okay. The book dressed like a pirate. Cool. So she's dressed like a book that's dressed just like a pirate. Dressed like a pirate. Played by Patrick Stewart? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Doki Doki Literature Club, the movie. Yuri, played by Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Make it show. <laughs> I... I'm useless. N no? That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Dang. <laughs> now, now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. 
Guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, thick and chunky. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'd probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. I would really be... <clears throat> I would be really appreciative of that. Uh... That's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Oh dear. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Thick and Chunky might not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. They're fighting over you. Good lord. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for thick and chunky to... Well, what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Thick and Chunky to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really got the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though... Jeez. Can't we just settle this already? Yeah. Thick and chunky, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh... Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. Save. Save? Save. Sa oh, shoot. Okay, save. It's that important, huh? Well, this is one of the parts where you have four very distinct paths. So this is like <clears throat> the biggest branch right here? Yes. Oh my, okay. Oh, I don't like the way you abruptly said that. Like, I already had the idea to save, but like, that was very... Um... I forgot to save this first time around, and yeah, I was not happy. <laughs> oh. Oh, shoot, okay. We're going to talk about this off camera, and we will come back to uh, the next episode. Yeah. When we make a decision. Oh, dear.